आथा योगा अनुशासनम नमस्ते वेलकम टू अनरावल द थ्रेड a podcast for people who want to apply the yoga sutras to yoga practice and to life today available online at www.unravelthethread.com i am ruben vasquez your companion on this journey of exploration on today's episode yoga sutra 142 integration with reasoning Sutra 42 in chapter 1 says when awareness is colored by the focal object its name and its meaning integration with reasoning savitarka samadhi continuing deeper on the meditation journey this verse defines savitarka samadhi the first aspect of the first stage of integration listed in the sequence in verse 117 the first stage of integration vitarka relates to what is perceptible through your senses and it is subdivided into two parts the first savitarka samadhi goes beyond the meditation state where your mind perceives the focal object without external or internal interference in sanskrit vitarka means argument imagination opinion reasoning savitarka means with reasoning or with deliberation and this first level of integration the contents of the mind include only the object its name and its deep meaning and purpose for instance you can choose om as your focal object the object is om its name is pranava and its meaning what you know about it and its purpose these three aspects of the focal object are distinct your knowledge about it may include that it is the sound that represents supreme being as well as the ideas in the mandukya upanishad however if you didn't know anything about the mandukya upanishad that would not affect the object itself even if you choose to call it om or aum the focal object would not be affected In this stage of integration your awareness gravitates towards these three aspects of the focal object the focal object itself its name and what you know about it your mind does not deviate from it in other words your meditation includes reasoning and opinion regarding your focal object what happens when you try to choose a focal object and meditate on it as usual one more way of exploring the meaning of this sutra is by chanting it You can choose to chant it in its traditional form with some of the words coming together. Tatra shabda ratha jnana vikalpai samkirana savitarka samapatti Another option is to chant each word in the sutra individually. Tatra shabda artha jnana vikalpai samkirna savitarka samapatti. Tatra 
शाब्दा अर्था ज्ञाना विपकल्पाए संकीर्णा सवितरखा समापाते तत्रा शाब्दा अर्था ज्ञाना विपकल्पाए संकीर्णा सवितरखा समापाते तत्रा शाब्दा अर्था ज्ञाना विपकल्पाए संकीर्णा सवितरखा समापाते तत्रा शाब्दा अर्था ज्ञाना विपकल्पाए संकीर्णा सवितरखा समापाते Thank you very much for listening. I hope you can join me for the next episode when we will explore Sutra 43 in Chapter 1. Please remember that you can find more information at unravelthethread.com I would appreciate it if you could share this podcast. Thank you. Until next time, Namaste.